everyone. Uh, we are on a road trip, as you can see, with all these bikes everywhere. Um, so this is my tire carrier. It is more than just carry a tire. It actually also holds bikes. And uh, I'm gonna show you the operation. This whole thing swings out. So, uh, oh, thanks, Julio. Julio, the cameraman. So you just take this pin out. You do it all with one hand. Just go like that. And then this whole thing is just now gonna swing out, right? It's gonna auto stop, like right here. Click. And then, if you needed to use your table, it also has a table, right? Which is kind of nice. It does that. And we're doing this demonstration so that we can dig Brian. This is the lo lovely Brian. He's a male version of Vanna White. And uh, there you go, there's the cooler. And there's a bike in there too. Check that out. Road trip, baby. Nah. Is it on? Oh, it turned off. Wait, wait. Wait, wait, what's going on? Oh, the plug is disconnected. That's why. Which is right here. Because I had to take the fridge out uh, to put this bike inside. Uh, so you got the plug. Oh, it's right here. There we go. Plug that in. There you go. The fridge is on. Still at. Oh, it's a 51. Uh oh. Okay, I'll kill off right now. All right, well, thank you. Okay, so to better secure your bikes on the rack is, uh, I suggest using a ratchet strap, because um, all, all this weight is getting centralized right here, and um, you're gonna need to offset some of that. So I tied it up to uh, make these bikes bounce less. Also, this bike here I have was like a hundred bucks off of Amazon. It's not one of the fancier units, so um, it's not as stable. I used to have a Thule. The carrier itself weighed about like 70 pounds. Um, it got stolen and I replaced it with this thing, which is a lot lighter. It probably weighs about like maybe 10, 15, at the most 20 pounds. Holds up to four bikes. And the reason I have a bike in here is because each one of these bikes weighs about 40 pounds and if i had another 40 pound bike weighing on the edge uh, hanging off the edge um, it would exceed the 250 pound uh, tongue limit of my hitch actually the the hitch is 500 pounds as the limit but because whenever you extend out from the hitch that gets um that has to get divided by two it gets halved all right. You got this. You're a smart guy, Brian. Take the pin out first. Oh wait, you gotta you gotta take the latch out like, and then move it the other way. Yeah, there you go. Oh, you are smart. See, anyone can figure it out. <laughs> Just kidding, Brian. Even a machinist, engineer. <laughs> Is the fridge on? Yeah. Okay. I'm not sure if that was long enough to make it cold, though. Well, it was already cold. All right. But it stayed it, cold. It didn't get significantly warmer. Warmer. Okay. All right. So there it is. Ratchet strap. Ready for the release? What's that? You have to release the pin to close it? Yeah. You got to pull on it. There you go. Let me go. There it goes. All right. Is it a bottle opener on that? Uh... It is. Yeah, it is a bottle opener. Thanks get for the adventure. Jeff. Yeah, get to see it. We'll we'll do it again. Where do you guys want to go next? Arizona. Okay. We want to go check Ooh, like the, right now, the different mountainous sites out there because they've got so many. Okay. So many cool places. You know, the nice thing about Arizona heat is it's dry, so it doesn't feel like this. Yeah. You know, the nice thing about Arizona heat is called January. <laughs> February. Yeah. That's monsoon season, isn't it? It's right no, now. right now it's. I heard it's yeah. raining right now. Yep. Actually, in Colorado, it's snowing. Is it? Yeah. Snowing in August. 
Thank you for watching this DIY video. It's been quite a while, and I know utilizing a ratchet strap to secure some bikes isn't exactly the most mind-blowing DIY project, but it's kind of been a while since I've had a video like this. Oh, that looks so cool, like facing the camera up like that and just walking. <laughs> Was that close? Or? No, not at all. Not at all? Wave, wave to the camera. All right, I think we're good. All right, cool. It's a video and it's yeah. All right, that's a spot.